Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and we're going to create this and this and this and this and this. These are Creative Cloud Instagram effects. Now what I did was um, I had to use my mobile phone and create a whole bunch of tests, upload them, check them, <clears throat> and then use a color match algorithm to mimic the same settings that the Instagram effects have in a, uh, a dot look file in Creative Cloud. So we're going to use them in Premiere Pro, After Effects, Speed Grade, and Photoshop. The only thing you have to uh, remember is that some of these have vignettes. Some of the Instagram looks come with a vignette. A vignette is a is this. It's when the edges have a, uh, a little bit of a darker area and some of them don't. You cannot create a lookup table. That's a LUT. Um, you cannot create a LUT that has any kind of localization and a vignette is a localization. So there can't be any local changes in color. So you can still use it and you can apply a vignette in things like Photoshop after the fact. But Premiere Pro, we can use it with the vignette. Let's go have a look. So the easiest way to share these is in the libraries. And you can see down here in my library, I've created a whole bunch of Instagram looks. And yes, you're going to get these. I'll give you a link to where you can download them and install them. Ain't I nice? Okay, so we can apply the look by just going to click on one and drag it over and we've instantly applied this. Now, if you go to the um, effects controls, you'll notice what was added in Premiere Pro was a Lumetri color effect. And down on the creative side, there is the effect that I used. If I want to try a different one, drag it over, it simply replaces this. It doesn't get rid of anything else in there. What's really, really important to understand about using any kind of global color change like this, a LUT or a look, is they're not always going to look the same in every image. In this timeline, I want to show you that I've got slightly uh, faded images. I have very bright images. I have very contrasty images. I have simple and I have complex images. They will all show the effect completely different. But the cool thing is, because we're using this in the Lumetri color, we can apply the look and then we can tweak it. Let's go have a look. So right now I have my effects controls open on the left hand side, but if I go to the color settings and it opens up over here, now I've got all of my controls and I can see where that look showed up for that particular file. So if I like this look, great, but if I want to, and let's say darken this a little bit more, I can pull that into the blacks and then stretch the whites out. So overall, we're going from that to that. That's a combination of the look that we applied here, which was the Instagram effect called Dog Patch, plus we pushed the whites and the blacks and created this kind of a look. So not only do you get an Instagram effect, you get a customized Instagram effect that nobody has anyway. And there's no limit to what you can do here. It's it's the Lumetri color panel. Of course, if you're on CS6, you don't got this. Time to upgrade. All right. Now let's look at the same things over some of these other images. I'm just going to open up my library here a little bit and drop this one on here. And you can see something like that is looking good. Let's stick early bird on there. And you can really see how things are starting to plug up. And, you know, maybe that's exactly what this particular um, effect is supposed to look like. But I'm going to jump down here to my color wheels and push up the midtones a bit. And then conversely drag that down. So now I added that, but then I opened it up. So some of these are made to look faded. Some of them don't have the full latitude. That means that they don't start completely at zero to a hundred. They're up above zero so that the shadows are never that dark. Again, that's the look that was on that Instagram effect, but we can tweak them. All right, let's go have a look at this image. And you can see that uh, uh, this image has a very muted look to it. And that's really because this was shot as a, a raw uh, clip on my Blackmagic camera. 
And if you look over here in the scopes on the left, you can see everything's in the middle. That is a lot of latitude here. So again, I could either use the blacks and whites here, or I could go back to my color wheels, drag the shadows down, drag the highlights up, and maybe even drag the midtone up and start with something that's a little bit more final. I think that's a smarter way to go when you're applying any kind of LUT, is that you're not starting with a characteristic of the clip already, because if you're going to be affecting it with a LUT, and in our case, incredibly stylistic LUTs, you want to start with something neutral. So let's go look. I went from that to that, and now let's apply one of these. Let's do something really radical. How about toaster and vignette. Whoa, that's crazy. But again, if we go back over to the creative side, we can change the intensity of that effect. Now this particular effect does have an enormous amount of, of red in the middle. And we can also look at this as the, um, without the vignette in it. So that's another thing I wanted to mention. This is unique to uh, the Lumetri color panel, is this intensity button. Just so you're not confused, in the basic correction, you can load a lot here, but we're actually loading the lot here in the creative section. The basic section lot is not for creative things like this. It's for technical things like log to lin and linearizing cameras. Don't go there. There's no slider. Stay in the creative. The other thing I love about this is I'm not accumulating many, many effects by just dragging more of these Instagram uh, looks on here. Every time I do it, it replaces the one from before. So let's go to something like this. Well, it's very subtle and let's go back to our 100% uh, intensity and you'll notice that we can push the intensity even more. So right now in the middle, it's set at 100. But uh, I think you get the idea is that, you know, we've got um, a lot of these to uh, check out. Let's try this one. And when I got to this point where I'm not really sure what I've changed, I'm going to go back to my Luma tree and click on this button. And it's just going to um, remove anything that I had before, including that lot. So let me try this guy on here again. Okay, again, very, very dark. But I think you get the idea. Now let's go look at something that is a, full of a lot of flat colors. So here I think we can push this a little bit more. There you, you can really see the vignette that's going on in here. And there's some more. Here's X-Pro2 with the vignette. Boom. Very, very bold statement from that to that. And then let's go to the last one here, which I chose because a lot of people use Instagram uh, effects for things like that for landscapes. So let's stick a Brooklyn effect on that. Nice, pleasing, simple. Uh, Clarendon, boom. Valencia opens that up a bit. How about toaster and vignette? Remember, this is the one with a big red spawn in it. So you can see the red is, is much less predominant here. And, and this is a pretty heavy effect. So maybe I would take this down a little bit. So we're going from that to that. All right. So that's Premiere Pro. That's applying them. They come in as Lumetri color um, effects in the creative section. Great, easy, wonderful. What about Photoshop? No problem. Let's go have a look at Photoshop. So in Photoshop, here's your libraries. And if you don't see them, go to the window menu and choose libraries. And this one is a little easier. I just get to pick, click, and they get applied. What we're actually applying is this particular color lookup right here. This is an adjustment layer. So it falls on top on its own layer. And the cool thing about this, let's go grab something that again is a little bit heavy. We have an opacity slider so we can take this effect down just like we can change the intensity in Premiere Pro. Nice, right? Let's go look at another one over here. Same idea. We're just grabbing these effects, clicking on them and applying them. I also want to show you, I mentioned that the um, vignettes are not compatible. So I'm going to try heavy, heavy vignette. You'll see that clicking on either of these does not affect that. And again, that's because 
If we open up, double click on this adjustment layer, you'll see that this is a color lookup. So it's just using the 3D lookup table, 3D LUT. It's a lookup table. It's not a look, but if you feed a look into it, uh, Photoshop's smart enough to say, oh, uh, I'll just take the stuff I understand, which is the color changes and not the vignette. So we can still use this. Of course, we could add a vignette on top of it. All right. What about After Effects? Now, After Effects is the one that you have to watch. So again, we've got our library panel over here. This one we need to drag over. So if I drag this over to the clip, you'll see I've changed it and I can keep dragging these over and it's going to change. But over on the left, let's look at our effects controls. The effect is apply color LUT. It is not the Lumetri color effect. So that's okay if you want to do that and you could put that in an adjustment layer and you could change the opacity. But what, again, if you wanted all the same stuff that Premiere Pro had, no problem. Let's delete that, go to the effects and there's the Lumetri color. I just typed in Lumetri, drop that on. There's my Lumetri color effect. Now for this, you manually have to open up Creative, click in the look and click browse, and then go to your Instagram looks. And again, I'm, mine are in my Creative Cloud libraries. There is that one, click on it, and there it is. So if I turn this on and off, there it is. It's the exact same way of working that you would work inside uh, Premiere Pro except without the drag and drop. So if you just want the LUT, great. But if you want all the rest of the Lumetri color panel, you're gonna have to manually drag that in. Now I'll share with you another, I'll put the link here. <clears throat> in one of my Lumetri uh, tutorials, I do show you how to take a whole bunch of stuff and stick it in that drop down menu. So if you wanted to access all of those, you could. The last one is speed grade. In speed grade, if you open up this area down at the bottom, so right down here, if you click on the second one and you navigate over on the left hand side, you don't get thumbnails, but here they are. All of them are available and ready to go. So you do get this set right here in speed grade. And if you go to videorevealed.com, the download section, you'll see a place where you can download all of these Instagram effects and use them inside Creative Cloud. And by the way, these took an enormous amount of work to create. And uh, I hope you really enjoy them. Remember, don't just use them as is, tweak them a little bit, change the intensity. Um, and in Photoshop, you know, add your own uh, other effects on top of this and in your own vignette. Hopefully you found this informative. If you're new to Video Reveal, take a moment and subscribe. Thanks to everyone who supported us. If you want to take your support up a little higher, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to give you this, 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 and all these effects here on Video Reveal. Mm -hmm.